Hey, what's up guys? Adi here with a Web Design Tuts Plus uh, quick tip. And today we'll learn how to create stitches in Photoshop. And it's such an easy technique. It's so, uh, it's so easy to do. Um, I've always thought that you gotta use brushes and um, patterns to achieve a stitching effect. And you can, but uh, really you're choosing the, the hard way because the easiest way is to use text, uh, the text tool, and you can use the paths um, from certain shapes to create uh, the shape of your stitching. So for example, I've, I've created um, a menu here, a simple menu, and we want to add some horizontal stitches uh, above and below the text. So select the text tool, okay, and all I'm going to do is add a bunch of dashes. Copy and paste a couple of times. Okay, let's align it. Let me zoom in here so you can see a bit better. And you can see already it's starting to look good. And you can play around with uh, the letter spacing until you achieve, you know, the, the the spacing you want for the stitches. I'm gonna go with 180. Yeah, 180 looks good to me. So for color, I'll choose a darker color than the, uh, than the background they're sitting on. So I'm, I'm grab something like this and double click the layer, select drop shadow, uncheck global light, distance is one, size needs to be zero, color will be white and don't forget to to change the blend mode from multiply to normal. All right, so angle can, al can also be 90% so that uh, the shadow is right beneath its parent uh, element. And you can reduce the opacity to about 20, 30%. I found that 20% actually looks pretty good. So as you can see, um, oops. As you can see, uh, it's it was really, really easy to make. And maybe reduce that a bit more, 10%. Okay, so duplicate this. And there you go, you have made uh, stitches in literally just one or two minutes. So um, that's it for... Um, for the horizontal stitches, but what if you have a button, a round button, and you want to make stitches all around it? Well, in that case, uh, I created uh, a nice little button here. Uh, in that case, uh, what you can do is duplicate or uh, actually create a new shape using the ellipse tool. Make sure you have a uh, shape layers selected and uh, just draw a shape that's slightly uh, smaller than the parent something like this align it on the center and what we're gonna use from uh, from this shape is its actual path that you can see here let me reduce the fill and there it is the the thin line that you see is called a path so you can use this in conjunction with the text tool by selecting text tool. Let me zoom in. And by clicking, you see when I approach my cursor to the path, it changes. So when I click on the path with my text tool, I'm basically typing on that path. It's very easy. So all we got to do now is start, oops, uh, start making a bunch of dashes like this there you go make this a bit smaller okay that looks pretty good if you're not uh, comfortable with the spacing you can always change it from here Maybe a slightly bigger one, a smaller one. I'll stick with 180. 
Okay. Uh, remember the color needs to be darker than the color of the background. And you can hide the, the shape, the path shape. And also don't forget to add um, the same uh, drop shadow we did in the previous step. So quickly uncheck this one, zero for size, white, blend mode to normal, and angle to 90, change the opacity to 20%. Cool, there you go, stitches on a round button. Nice. Now, what if you have a shape that looks something like this? Um, you can use paths again, but uh, when you get to the corners around here and here and here, if you use this technique, it's, it's gonna break, it's not gonna look good. So uh, what you can do is uh, do the stitches manually. So let's go up here and first do the vertical stitches. Okay. Rotate this. about six pixels or five from uh, from the left side. All right. Um, quickly, let's, uh, let's grab the drop shadow from our round stitches. Okay. And duplicate this. Five pixels again. And for, for the diagonal stitches, simply duplicate and you can get rid of some of these. You don't need uh, that many um, dashes. Okay, so kind of position this as you see fit. Something like this works for me, but I'll get rid of some of the stitches. Okay, and duplicate this again, flip horizontally, and they should meet somewhere around there. All right, so there you go. As you can see, this looks pretty good. And you can play around with it, of course. Uh, maybe change, you know, change the green color to something a bit lighter maybe something like that. So um, the stitches look more realistic. All right, guys, uh, well, that was the quick tip for, uh, for today. We created these, uh, these nice elements. I hope you found it uh, useful and don't forget to subscribe to Web Design Tuts and leave your comments and suggestions. And for future tutorials, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. So uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.